here is the way in which I I explain it, and I stole this explanation. I wish I could say it was my own, but I stole it. Okay, it is to me the most elegant explanation since it requires no words, and since you can do it self reference you can do it on yourself. Very simple, some of you surely know it. Take the right index finger, index finger of your right hand, or any other finger, should you so care, and grip it firmly, that is to say totally, with the other hand. Try to pull this finger out of the hand. Refuse to let the finger pull out. All right? Now, suddenly, spontaneously, push in and pull out. <laughs> That's Aikido. That's what Aikido is. That's the bottom line. What happens when you push in? The fingers relax. We are so conditioned to open with agreement. Right? Turn to the person next to you. One of you offer a finger, the other grab it. <laughs> now, the person grabbing grabbed that thing like it was a life force. The other guy pushing and pulling. <laughs> yeah. And the reason you hit her because you're using ten times more force than you need. You need to. Okay, try it. <laughs> Hold tight. Squeeze hard. Okay? The way to check this is kind of like a mathematic proof or something. You add it up, you subtract and you add the two together and the back. Original problem. Okay. Look here, she grabs a hole. Grab tight. See? Right? In. She relaxes. Now you're helping. Okay, now, if she just holds lightly, a little, no, a little heavier, not much. Don't let go. You're trying to help. If you hold lightly, the person can't get their finger out. The harder you grip, the harder the person grips, the easier it is to pull your finger out. The more startling the agreement. Okay? The more lukewarm the grip, the more in agreement the grip, the harder it is to pull up. Okay. This is what I thought I'd start out with today. <laughs> and then we would proceed in an orderly fashion. You know, he's just on the bus, you know, I guess it's Saturday or something. So we've got to turn around. Uh, I commend this to you as a koan. I say to you that this is a model for your life. There are things that are holding you that you are pulling away from which if you only go into them a tiny bit, you'll be free of them. Okay? So no more philosophy. But uh, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, doing this a couple of times a day isn't a bad practice either. Okay? Just to remember, just as Galway Canal says, we need to teach a thing reteach a thing its own loveliness. We need to reteach ourselves what we already know. So I suggest 